Uh, my name is uh, Anthony Chikachi. I'm a dentist in New York City. I trained at uh, NYU, private practice, uh, for about 35 years in New York City. So we've been doing digital dentistry for about 10 years. And it's totally changed the way that we practice. In New York City, where there's uh, typically a time constraint with uh, patients, it seems to uh, make our workflow for them a lot more efficient. And so through technology such as Shining, uh, where we're using uh, intraoral scanning and or facial scans or using printers <clears throat> to manufacture uh, dental uh, objects for the patients. Uh, we feel that that's a unique advantage that we have here in the city. Uh, we've used other uh, manufacturers in the past and uh, Shining has uh, uh, brought to market at the moment something that is at a price point that's uh, highly acceptable to get into and uh, it, it puts them on a platform I believe with some of the uh, more expensive vendors in the field. Currently we're using the Shining uh, 3D intraoral wireless scanner. We're uh, trying to optimize the workflow with it relative to our habits that we've accumulated. Uh, the freedom that it's wireless uh, it gives us a little more comfort level when we're using it. Uh, the ability to have different size tips as opposed to a standard one tip fits all. So if you have uh, someone with a small mouth or in pediatrics where you need a small tip, that's helpful. The scanner itself is highly valuable compared to what other options that are out there in the marketplace right now. To that end, it, most of the scanning in my office is done by my, my staff and I come in and I'll do the final scan, let's say on, uh, on, on the scan bodies or crown preparations as such. And so uh, it's just uh, intuitive for them. So when we're introducing new technology, we just want it to be seamless and easy and it's quick um, and very efficient from the standpoint of the patient. There's a wow factor there. Um, and typically when we do these scans, the patient starts to giggle because they never seen themselves in a 3D picture and it's kind of amusing to them. So, And uh, my technician likes it whenever we're doing an aesthetic case where we're mating and uh, meshing uh, intraoral scans to that to do proposals for aesthetic cases. And again, you probably can use it for uh, proposing uh, orthodontic cases on that as well. So. There's a value to that. It's my hope that they'll use it for photometry, for uh, uh, scan, scanning uh, implant cases in the future. I'm hopeful that uh, the company will use it for photometry. I think there has, a, uh, from a clinician's point of view, that has a higher impact. And I can't see why any practice can't uh, integrate it into their practice for something as simple as just doing or making models for. Um, aligners if they're doing that in-house or for perhaps making provisionals in-house when they're doing their tooth preparations. So I think um, the accuracy is, um, is uh, very accurate. I think the platform itself is larger than most printers. So if you want to do stackable trays or stackable models, um, the time no longer is an impact because you're pushing uh, multiple cases through so I think the efficiency of it is good at, at, at no loss of let's say accuracy. But I think that if you engage in using the digital approach in your office I think it will uh, rid you of multiple headaches and uh, human errors um, and so um, from the price point and the value that you're getting at the moment to at least come to up in, to current market standards of what's out there to purchase. Um, I think that the Shining 3D products are comparable, highly comparable actually, to the more expensive subscription-based vendors that are out there.